What's going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video review this time it's Enter Bay Michael Jordan and I'm shoot reshooting this because you're asking yourself why am I releasing this video again because ESPN is releasing their last dance uh, tribute to Michael Jordan on April 19th so I'm going to put this out there and also because of the fact that um, YouTube demonetized my other video because I used the Chicago Bulls theme song which I wouldn't do in this video maybe I would but in really really low volume I don't know why they would do that to me i'm a huge fan guys come on but as far as enter bay figures head over to bigbadtoystore.com they got a bunch of enter bay figures and if you're looking for the kobe bryant dual pack um i know it's really hot right now so head over to big bad toy store i'll put the link down below so as far as the box uh enter bay this these figures are bigger than your typical hot toys figure uh they're still one six but this, you know michael jordan six six you know most of the nba players like Shaq. so they're slightly bigger than your normal hot toys figure um but the boxes i think it's better and this is one of the earlier releases of enter bay this guy and the white version of michael jordan uh as you can see it's been opened because i reviewed this several times and i'm not going to re-put them in the box but as you can see it comes with um jordan 10 and jordan 2 outside of the jordan 11s the uh, concords that he does have on his feet and as you can see here it's it has a foam so they're giving their their figures more of a dx treatment for those who doesn't have any enter bay figures as of yet now if you're looking for a michael jordan figure what i recommend is the dual pack so you would get the rookie version and kind of like the last shot version uh it's more of like a two it's more expensive but it's two figures combined the only thing that you're missing is the second head sculpt from the rookie version but to compensate for that you would get like a warmer for that version so it's up to you whether you wanted the uh the second head sculpt which is the more um the screaming head sculpt or the uh the uh, warmer version for the rookie michael jordan i would i personally like the screaming head sculpt but it's not like you have any options if you want the rookie version just a single pack you have to head over to ebay for that but you get all the uh iconic 14 shoes of michael jordan though is it 14 or something like that and this is jordan 10 speaking of jordans it does have all the writings at the bottom as you can see there so this is the home version since it's white so what you're going to get from the dual pack is all the breads basically the the away version of his shoes he did come with the home version which is white which is i missed I should have gotten that because I already have all the red and black Jordans. Um, you know, like all my Jordans are mostly away. I should have gotten that white version back in the then. But it was so expensive that I didn't want to do it. It comes with three shoes, basically. Jordan 10, Jordan 2. And it comes with this trophy. As you can see, it's kind of dusty and some creases there. But this is the uh, MVP trophy that he does have. So it depends on the Jordan. Back then, if you get the red version, you'll get the MVP trophy. If you get the white version, which is the single version, you would get uh, a championship trophy, which you would also get on different figures. And so if you bought Scotty Pippen like myself, I bought Scotty, Dennis, Rodman and Kobe Bryant so I got those so in retrospect the MVP is a bit more unique because at least the f the wording on the front is different because I got Derrick Rose who has an MVP trophy as well but it does say Derrick Rose in the front so it's not like one generic trophy for everyone it is actually more individualized compared to the uh, uh the M the uh Larry O'Brien trophy which is the uh, the championship trophy which is it doesn't have any names on it so and it comes with a ball that is magnetized so it just attaches to the hand and um his base this is like an older base as well so some of my base honestly the uh the tip is kind of like moving upwards now and you can see here, this is the pole if you are not uh, familiar with Enter Bay figures. But held over to my channel because there's a lot of Enter Bays out there. Uh, forgive me for showing you Joker in the background. But this is the Hot Toys stand. You know, it comes with uh, the clamp. And it does come with like this uh, foam insert inside. And as far as Enter Bay, this is the biggest difference. Enter Bay does not. And you can see the, the bottom is different. So if you're planning to swap them in and out, it's not going to work. For Enter Bay, it's more of a, like a thumb screw kind of thing. And then Hot Toys is more of a, it has like a peg that you have to insert and take out. So, you know, sometimes I wanted to switch them up because I, I, I'm not a biggest fan of the Enter Bay. I, I mean, I get it why they gave you that stand. But if you have so many Enter Bays like I do, sometimes space is an issue. And unlike Hot Toys, which I can swap it out with just the crotch grabber 
same thing can't be said with a enter bay figure and here's the figure itself so mind you i've had this figure for a long time now maybe five six years and uh initially my biggest concern was the uniform because it looks like it's it's a press on like an iron on sticker but it hasn't it hasn't really peeled off or anything you know that's one of the issues with superman the first christopher reeves is because the s was coming off uh not on this figure however if it's michael jordan there's so many ebay jerseys that you can buy nowadays for 20 30 dollars so i wouldn't even sweat it if that's the case but then you know at the same time you, we don't want to spend extra more from what we paid for this figure because honestly when, when it comes to enter bay what are you really buying the head sculpt because the body is pretty much generic as a matter of fact i use a dennis rodman body for my michael jordan and i swap the hand so it doesn't have tattoos and all that stuff the skin tone is the same everything's the same it's there's a little variations here and there for example shaq is a lot bigger and taller but if you get jordan pippen the tattoos the skin tone pretty much all the same so basically if you buy an enter bay figure you're paying for the head sculpt maybe the uniform and the shoe and that's it if they do have the license for the shoe because scotty pippen they didn't have the license for that air up tempo and here he is so the uniform for this guys it's a bit so so the later part uniforms uh i'm sure the the, the last uh, the dual pack jordans you're gonna get it's a little bit better in terms of quality this is a bit more stiff uh but then again the uniform back then is different than than what we have now you know they're a bit softer material um the mesh is a bit different as well you can see he does have the elbow pads um uh, the arms uh the the hands are pretty much generic as well the shorts nothing really has changed for five years in this figure and i didn't get the color transfer from those shorts you know if you watch some of my reviews let's say for penny or whatever the shorts because it's black if you don't pre-watch it sometimes even if you do watch it the color transfer to the skin so you'll have like a black mark uh on the figure and it happens to our figures that you know have the like a black clothing you know even mike tyson from storm collectibles that just happens it's not like you're gonna display them naked but you know it's still kind of annoying because you, you paid this for hundreds of dollars just to see a black mark on the figure that is more, let's face it more more collectors are ocds like myself so you know any black mark or something like that kind of bothers me you know if it doesn't for you then good but for me i learned my lesson i always pre-wash those things once or twice maybe even three times put them on the washing machine and you know let it cycles just to bleed out the extra colors and after you do that it will be okay and look at this this head sculpt by michael jordan it is perfection in my opinion it just looks great man just looks great paint application uh the structure everything is great and here he is uh there's a bit of a restriction as far as posing is concerned because as you know for aesthetics purposes he's not double jointed on the elbows on the knees he is but you saw the there's a downside when you put somebody in a double jointed um figure is that it's aesthetically it's not pleasing to look at especially for a figure whose body is exposed as much as basketball players at least with michael jordan if you want to pull up his knee pads is that it's not really a knee pad more of a, a calf um you know, i don't know accessory whatsoever at least you can hide one knee in his case you can hide one elbow uh but imagine if those elbows are, are exposed that would look just just not too pleasing you know it, it, down the line would they use Fison if Enterbe is still around I highly suggest they use Fison but as we know if you are not aware Enterbe is kind of in offense now they haven't really made any more figures they they made this like small figures but I don't know I think they're um and it's unfortunate because I do like Enterbay, but their customer service for me is horrible. Just a horrible experience for me, uh, g generally speaking. I tried to buy the Hulk Hogan uh, from Storm Collectibles because I think they're handling Storm Collectibles. I don't know if they're the same company, but uh, it's in stock. Then all of a sudden it's out of stock. They canceled my order. No explanation whatsoever. So I just assumed that, you know, they just put them in stock even though they don't have one in hand but it's it's just annoying little things like that i bought hulk hogan this is the second time that it happened to me and you know like and i i don't know it just it's unfortunate because they actually do make good figures it's just that maybe that's one of their downfall you know it's because their customer service is horrible and i'm not saying hot toys is great when it comes to customer service but the people that they're partner with you know big bad toy store 
and 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 sideshow they're they're pretty good so they, they we can kind of mask that from them but as far as Enterbay, they they do uh, have a deal with Big Bad Toy Store as well. But they have their own stores. Sometimes I buy buy from their own store, and this is the type of service that you're gonna get, unfortunately. But as far as the figures, I think they're they're pretty good. You know, I mean, look at this figure right here. It is great. So now, you know, if you re if you're watching this and you're rewatching the Last Dance from uh, the Bulls documentary, the ten part series from from ESPN, and you're hyped. I would suggest don't find this figure because this is sold out and you're probably going to pay $300 for this. Buy the dual pack version which is still available at Big Bad or Enter Bay. Don't buy from Enter Bay. Big, buy from Big Bad because I'm telling you, the customer service that you're going to get from Enter Bay is horrible compared to Big Bad. If something's wrong with your figure, at least Big Bad Toy Store would handle it for you. If, if you go directly to Enter Bay, oh my goodness, good luck with that. But if you're hyped, go ahead and pick this one up while you still can. You know, while it's still available, I would go ahead and do so. But again, thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out this channel. If you hate it, give it a thumbs down. That helps out too, you know, in improving the quality of video that I produce. And uh, please follow me on Twitch if you haven't done so. And if you're buying any figures, please do me a favor and click the link down below because that just shows big bad that you are watching my channel and you support it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next review.